Six reasons why Iceland is so safe. Every year, the Institute for Economics and Peace releases the Global Peace Index. It tells you which countries are the most dangerous to live in and which are the most peaceful and safe. Iceland, a small isolated country at the edge of the Arctic, always comes in as being one of the safest. Most of Iceland's citizens are more concerned with natural hazards in the country. Weather conditions can change in the twinkling of an eye. When traveling in Iceland, people wisely inform others of their exact travel plans. Here are some reasons why Iceland is so safe. Number one, a woman scorned is unknown in Iceland. Gender inequalities vex all women and the Iceland government doesn't want to do anything unreasonable that riles its people. A woman with the same qualifications as a man, but is paid less, is enough to make any woman boil with fury. Hell has no fury like a woman scorned may well be referring to relationships, but it applies in other areas of life too. When it comes to gender equality, Iceland is one of the most gender equal countries in the world. The country has a law that requires companies to prove that they pay salaries that are equal for their male and female staff. Iceland is safe from the wrath of women wanting to take their anger out on male colleagues who get a better deal than them. Even in Iceland's nursery schools, it is being taught that both males and females deserve equality. Also, 97% of Icelanders are middle class and jealousy crimes don't exist as no one wants or demands what someone else has. Number two, a culture of non-violence. When violence statistics are released, Iceland is always among the top listed countries for being non-violent. In this Nordic island country, not just once, but for 9, 10, 11 successive years, they have come out as being the safest country there is to live in. If someone does commit murder in Iceland, sentencing is very different from what you get in the United States, for instance. Murderers are not likely to get a sentence of more than 20 years in prison. Also, the murderer gets paroled after serving two-thirds of the sentence. The prisoner is worked on and prepared to enter society again. The citizens enjoy living in harmony with each other and the crime rate is all but non-existent. Many people want to escape crime and in Iceland the crime rate is extremely low. Yes, there may be a murder during the year, maybe even two murders, but there aren't any large crime syndicates operating undercover or large gangs involved in turf wars. It's amazing to realize that this small Nordic country has no military. The chances of war are low and its skies are monitored by guest military services. Until very recently, the police were also unarmed, but lately they do carry guns in their vehicles. Number three, guns aren't for self-protection. It's estimated that there are in the region of 100,000 firearms in Iceland. People might question that as being a particularly high number for such a small population of 350,000. The firearms, however, are used for hunting wild animals. Iceland doesn't have a culture of needing a gun to protect oneself. And in fact, in the country, it is difficult to acquire pistols being heavily regulated. Rifles, for which users have to have training, are used for sports purposes or for hunting game. Number four, they deal effectively with provocative issues. The question on the lips of many people is why is this island nation in the North Atlantic so peaceful and safe in the hectic 21st century? How has this peaceful nation managed to form a modern society where freedom and equality are top priorities? Why does this icy country continuously rank at the top for having all the right answers for provocative issues such as gender equality? How does Iceland ensure all citizens enjoy a high quality of life? And why can't other countries achieve what Iceland has achieved? Another very important reason why Iceland is so safe is that they don't battle with overpopulation. This is essentially the root cause of crime. The world's worst problems are due to overpopulation Poverty, survival, pollution, destruction of important green spaces so vital for balance. There are harmful psychological effects because of overcrowding and 20 people who live in a home designed for two 
will see them exhibiting antisocial behaviour. The less space people have to live in, the harder it is for them to get along. They're competing, often violently, for jobs, food, water, and they will kill for these things if they run out. Iceland doesn't have this problem, as they have only roughly 350,000 people living in an area of 103,000 kilometres squared. The population density in Iceland is only three people per square kilometre, which is similar to Australia. Number five, tackling alcohol and aggression issues. Drinking mindlessly increases your risk of committing crimes and becoming violent. Excessive drinking often lowers one's inhibitions and increases the risk of aggressive behavior, putting your own life as well as the lives of others in danger. One of the reasons why Iceland is considered a safe country is that after 6 p.m., the price of alcoholic drinks goes up five times the regular price. The sale of alcohol in the Nordic country is limited to the state. It's only sold in the state-run liquor store known as ATVR. This is Iceland's sole legal vendor of alcohol for off-premises consumption. People in Iceland have to think twice before they consume alcohol willy-nilly, as the country has huge taxes on alcohol. Alcohol sold in bars and restaurants is twice as expensive outside the Vimbudin. Vimbudin is run by ATVR in Iceland. Number six, Iceland, the haven to run to in a world gone mad. Gang warfare, riots, strikes, murder, rape, some countries have it all, with violence spiraling out of control. It won't be long before many people the world over are going to be trying to escape their countries to enter Iceland for its safety. When that happens, overpopulation will bring with it a whole lot of new problems for Iceland, toppling the small Nordic country off its pedestal of being the safest country in the world. And that will be a sad day indeed.